Welcome to State Attack. Let's take a look at MC Pro app available for your iPhone and iPad. Now once you launch MC Pro, what it's going to do is bring you into the main menu where I can see blueprints, story time, and options. Now the whole point of this application is to actually give you some blueprints for nice buildings that you can build inside of your Minecraft app and this is going to give you blueprints. You can see that we have 19 different categories in the top of the screen and I'm scrolling through all of them so you can kind of see what each category offers and all of these are updated all the time so there's constantly new blueprints that are being added each and every day. And what's going to be great about these blueprints, as you're going to see here in a second, we're going to be able to take these blueprints and go step by step so that I can recreate what I'm seeing on my iPad back into my Minecraft world. So if I see something here in these blueprints that I like, I can actually view how to create it and then make it in my Minecraft game. So I'm going to go ahead and come into a temple and I'm going to tap on this cathedral here and it's going to load in. You can see in the top of the screen there are 81 steps. I have my thumb sticks over here in the left hand and right hand side of the screen that are allowing me to move around. So I'm kind of zooming out and pulling back a little bit so we can see the whole overview of the cathedral. I can look up and down, left and right, and I can even adjust position of my screen. Now up in the top right hand corner where it says 3D, you can see if I tap on it, it goes 2D to 3D. I can also adjust some camera physics, and adjust gravity, adjust collisions. You've seen that gravity is in place, I'm falling down into gravity. I'm going to go and shut that off. I have pinched to zoom in, so I can pinch on the screen and zoom in. I find this a little bit useful to kind of get in and get out really quickly. In the top right hand corner, I can adjust which position on the map I want to look at. North, west, south, east, or top. And I can even toggle 3D view and 2D view right with inside this menu as well. So I want to actually add in a grid and what this is going to help me do is when I'm actually looking on top I can count how many grid pieces there are that I'm laying out so that way I can follow this pattern to a T based upon the grids. And you can see how all this grid view is showing me where each and every one of those blocks is going to go. And this is both working and again as I set it up in 3D and 2D mode so we can see this here as I rotate around. I'm going to go and shut this off for now so that way we don't have this distracting us from viewing what we're looking at. I'm actually going to enable a block ID and you can see all the different block ID hexadecimal values that I can add in. So I'm adding an icon and name and the hexadecimal value so that way I can see these blocks and I can see what block I actually need to place there to make this exactly as it is. Over that next to the ID we have our overall materials table so I can see all the materials that are used to create this building and then what I can do is actually go all the way to step zero. So right now there is nothing here and if I tap the plus button it's going to advance me each step and then I can go ahead and zoom my guy over it and then I can see what each block is positioned on. And this would also come in handy if I were to enable that grid again I can see where each one of these goes in a specific grid. And you can go step by step or you can even just take the slider so right now I'm going to go ahead and take the slider and we're just going to go up to a random step let's just say step 51. And now it's going to advance me to 51 and I can see that this is going to be a quite a detailed map. And now if I hit the lock icon it's going to lock my position so that way I can actually get this perfect in my Minecraft. On the left hand side of the screen I can show and hide my tools, rate this actual map, view the details about the map such as the author when it was submitted, the category tags, recommended texture pack and even details, size block count and when it was last updated. Hitting the back button will bring me back into the map where I last left off. I can also save and report a problem. Now we're going to come back out to the main menu and I'm actually going to view the story time option. This is where I can view user submitted stories and I can read them here directly on my device. And these are all from the Minecraft universe. I can tap next in the bottom right hand corner or chapter to advance a chapter in the specific story that I've selected. Coming back out to story time I can see that I can sort by name, updated date, or read and unread and I can also see if there's new, completed, or in-progress stories or abandoned stories up at the top of the screen. In the options, I can actually tap the question mark and view what premium content I'll be able to purchase for in-app purchases. So I can get no more ads, I can get premium content, pro builders, and even ultimate access. And you can read what each one of these will give you in the description here in the box. And then I can actually come back right into my blueprints and continue where I left off. So once again, this application is called MC Pro App. If you like it, pick it up for your iPhone and iPad in the App Store.